everyone. It is July 27th. How's everyone doing today? Uh, I'm Autumn from the Coin Skirt Stitcher. I'm previously known as Stitching Along. I just changed my channel name. Anyway, how's everyone? I'm doing okay myself. Um, other than just a little bit of allergy problems um, where I'm at, there's a lot of wild forest fires all around me. I'm surrounded and it's smoky here and hot and so it's been messing with my allergies, especially my vision. Uh, my eyes have been very watery lately and things uh, making things difficult to stitch, you know, so yeah, that's one thing I've been dealing with. Other than that, things have been pretty good. Um, I just got back from a little trip to Portland with my family. We went for a few days and it was nice. It was just kind of a, a trip to get away from the smoke. We went uh, mini golfing, saw uh, the new Incredibles movie and had lots of good food, went to a bunch of parks, and it was nice. It was a nice trip. So anyway, I am going to pause, and I'm going to go ahead and get my things to show. This is probably going to be a a little bit longer video than I've usually been doing, because uh, I have a lot of things to show today. So anyway, pause for a moment. Okay. So for July, I've been mostly working on um, my Joan Elliott pieces because it was uh, Joan Elliott July. And I had four I uh, planned on working on, but I ended up working on five, which I'll let you guys know a little bit more. So I kind of planned it weekly. I did uh, each project for one week. And uh, yeah, it worked out well for me. And I think maybe I'm going to start doing that um, for the next coming months is trying to do uh, a weekly kind of rotation with uh, whatever project I want to work on and get more progress done and work on more of my pieces. So the first thing I worked on in the first week of July is my oldest whip, Rainbow Trails. And um, I have a goal for this, this piece and my goal is to uh, finish the skirt by the end of the year. It was originally I'm going to finish this whole piece by the end of the year, but that's not going to happen. So I had to modify my goal. Okay, I have to get used to showing things in the camera again. Feels kind of awkward. Anyway, um, last time you saw this, I was barely started in this section. And um, in that first week of July, I got all this section done. And it was kind of kind of a pain, uh, to be honest, because uh, lots of different shades of gold. And uh, there's a few mistakes. <laughs> but uh, I think it turned out well. So um, I'm hoping... I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this out for in August, but maybe I will be able to sometime. Uh, like I said, I get kind of burnt down on this piece, but I would like to finish the rest of this section. Like maybe come up to here in her skirt. So, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to pause again and pull out my other whip. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind I pause the video. I, I have to take my um, projects out of uh, plastic bags and there's lots of crinkling and I'm sure you, you might be wearing headphones maybe and you don't want to hear that. So, anyway, here is the picture of my next project, which is Rose Lady. Uh, I worked on this for a week. But I probably most likely got about five days done. <laughs> uh, I didn't work on it constantly, but yeah. Um, let's see. The last time I think you guys saw, I just had this part done and just a little bit of her elbow. And during the week, I got a little bit of her shawl coming out this way, the rest of her arm, 
and her shoulder and her bodice and her and the rose done and I think it's just lovely um, kind of she kind of reminds me of a little bit of an attitude <laughs> um, when she when I was sitting here she had her, her little this going out and I was like oh she's gonna she's gonna knock someone out even though, even though this girl's holding a rose and she's picking rose, she, she's got attitude. <laughs> Don't want to mess with her. <laughs> so, um, I, I named her Rosie. So, yeah. Okay, next whip. Okay, so my next whip, or my, actually, uh, a restart, is Tulip Fairy by Joan Elliott. Now, this piece kind of was a disappointed disappointment for me. Um, during the week I was supposed to work on this, the my allergies were really active, and my eyes were so watery I could barely see, and my eyes were all puffy, and I had a headache, and it just stitching was not possible that week. So I only worked on this for one day, but I did start it, which is good. So, uh, this is the picture. This is what she'll look like. This is from Ultimate Cross Stitch Fantasy Book. I think you can still get this online at uh, Zodi, Zonia, something like that. It's a, sorry, floss tube, itchy nose. It's uh, a magazine website have digital magazines. Anyway, uh, I just started on her elbow and her sleeve because that was the closest in the middle. Sorry for all the wrinkles. And it's on blue Ada, blue 14 count Ada. So, um, I will pick this up later and work on it some more, get a better start on it. Um, when my eyes are not so watery. Okay, for the last week of July, uh, this week, um, I decided I wanted to work on a Christmas piece, then also a Joan Elliott. So I had a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I started this last July for Joan Elliott July, and I thought, well, this also would be a good time for me to pick this back up and work on it. And I've worked on it for, again, because of my vision, I've only been able to work on it here and there um, for the last two or three days. Um, I've been working on Mrs. Claus's face. I got her eyes done and her ear and a little bit of her, her blush and her cheeks. So she's turning out really nice. And... Um, I'll work on her again for a few more days, and I'm hoping to be able to finish her face. We shall see. I also forgot to mention on uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus that I'm working on um, 14 Count Ada, and it is uh, like a beige color. Um, yeah, kind of a beige gray. Uh, I found it at a thrift store, so I'm not exactly sure what color it is. I just always kind of forget to tell you guys what count of fabric I'm working on, so I have to remember to do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, this next whip I worked on was um, kind of a surprise. I just, I picked it up because I just felt like working on it. Um, these are little Joan Elliott Christmas Angels. It's uh, a Design Works kit. There's a picture of all four of them. I'm working on this one down here, and I was working on her sleeve in the green right here. So that's what I've gotten done so far, and this is 14 count white Ada. So. Okay, and another whip that I worked on that was actually not a Joan Elliott, surprise, surprise, yeah. Just reach and grab it. This is um, Hands on Design Farm Fresh. And I just 
I decided to pick this up because um, a little easier for me to work on with my vision being as blurry as it's been. Um, so easy, easy peasy. So that's what I've been working on on when I need a Joan Elliott break. So I'll go ahead and pause and I will show you some finishes. Yay! Okay, so I finished um, my Halloween cat by Doreen Jones. This is another freebie that you can find on her Facebook group. Uh, she's really great. She gives free um, a freebie every Friday, I believe, on her website. And so, or on her Facebook. So I saw this and it, it was just adorable. And Halloween is coming up, so I thought, why not? So I went ahead and I finished it, uh, I believe, the second week in July. And that's how it turned out. It's kind of wrinkly. I haven't ironed it yet. But I love the little mouse and spider. It's so cute. Really easy. Not a lot of backstitching. And I'm going to finish it into a cube. So, um, I am just waiting for Halloween fabric to um, be in the fabric stores. Because I want to back it with Halloween fabric. And I already have some purple ribbon. It was purple and black polka dots, which I think I'm going to line with it. Uh, I forgot to bring it out. Oops. And uh, it's kind of packed up anyway. Uh, and also a little button that says boo. I thought I would put that on top or near, maybe near the cat or something like that. And have it in the little cube to set out. So I'm really excited to fully finish that object. And or that project. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm just really excited to put it all together and have it out for Halloween. I'm just like, okay, craft stores, get the Halloween fabric in. You can do it. That way I can finish it. It needs to be done. Sometime. <laughs> okay, so another fully finished object. Well, sorry, my first fully finished object. Well, someone I helped fully finished my daughter she's been cross stitching so I helped her finish her newest finish into a little jewelry box I'm gonna cover up her name real quick just privacy reasons anyway she decorated it and I helped put this on and you might hear some rattling and there's some jewelry already in there but she decorated it. She put the this around it. And it's a little sunbonnet Sue. It turned out really cute. It was a uh, part of a Joan Elliott little spring motifs that she had in a World of Cross Stitch magazine. And uh, it turned out really cute. And yeah. She really had fun making that project, and now she's kind of taking a cross-stitch break, but she's looking for something else to stitch, so pretty soon. Okay, so the next finished, or fully finished object I have uh, actually has a little meaning to it. Um, I finished cross-stitching this piece last, either last I have to think for a moment. I think late August of last year or early September. And um, I decided I wanted to enter it in the fair. So I thought, well, I need to get it framed up and get going. Because I have actually a couple of other pieces too that I entered in the fair this year. And my fair, my local fair, starts uh, the middle of August. So anyway, this is a Design Works kick. Um, it's called You Are My Sunshine, and I fully finished it in a white frame, and I took some yellow gaming, gammon, I don't know, some kind of yellow back 
yellow fabric. I don't know. <laughs> I put it in the background and I kind of fringed it, the, the cross stitch piece, kind of wanted to kind of look uh, kind of old and kind of beaten up a little bit in the edges. So I, I did that on purpose. And then I glued it on and then I had these pretty sunflower pit stickers and I thought it would be a nice little touch to it. And then I had some, uh, bless you, uh, I forget what kind of ribbon this is called. I'm having a brain freeze. Yeah, anyway, it's kind of a rough looking ribbon. I'm sure you guys know what it is. <laughs> and, uh, uh, a sunflower. So I thought it turned out really nice. It's been sitting in uh, on my bookcase in the hallway. So um, yeah, I'm going to enter that into the fair. So I'm really excited. It's the first time I've ever entered uh, any of my cross stitch pieces into a fair before. So I'm a little bit nervous. So yeah, now I'll go ahead and pause. And I'm going to show you the other two ob objects I'm going to be entering. Okay, uh, another thing I'm going to be entering is this uh, frozen pillow I made. I forget when I made it, but yeah, 